Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me in this little video. Uh, I'm going to be asking you guys a question, and answering it myself. Is Mass Effect Andromeda worth it? You know, I'm overall, I would say yes. This game is worth it. And I'm going to give you a couple pros, a couple cons, a price point, and some final thoughts on Mass Effect Andromeda. So let's start off with some of the pros. The story is interesting. It is compelling to play when you're playing it, and it it just kind of grips you after a while. The story missions do feel like they do push the story forward, so it doesn't feel monotonous to play them, and it does reward you for playing each of the story missions, which is really good in a day, in today's world, where sometimes you complete a mission and you get nothing from it. So... My next pro is that the characters are unique. Your crew members, oh, you develop such a relationship with each one when you do their story, their side missions. Sure, you can romance the characters. You can figure, but you find out about them. It's them, the emotions, their wants, their desires that you just really enjoy learning about. That I found to be really rewarding. Sure, the romance is fun and all, but... At the end of the game, you're just like, I don't want to leave them. I don't want the game to end with them yet. I want to continue exploring with the crew members. And I honestly found that to be one of the points to really get this game. The crew members really do bring it alive. All right, uh, let's see. The next pro is that the game has quite a bit of exploration in it. The game wants you to explore for new worlds and just explore everything. <clears throat> and by doing that, the game rewards you quite a lot for, you know, completing missions, finding new worlds, finding enemies, defeating enemies, scanning for enemies like I'm doing right now. So I think that was great in the game. And I better make sure I'm not dying. Anyways, and the last very good pro, there are more, but these are the ones I'm going to touch upon, is that the game does have a good autosave system, which is important for one of the cons that I will bring up soon. So, I'm going to talk now a little about the multiplayer aspect. Multiplayer, <clears throat> not really worth it at all, for the most part. It is a wave co-op survival type of game mode that, eh, it, it's okay. I, I played the tutorial mission, but if you're going to get Mass Effect Andromeda, you're going to get it for the single player experience. So those are my thoughts on the uh, multiplayer game multiplayer part of this game so now we have a couple cons so while I did play as of August 2017 there are still a couple glitches uh, so you may be wondering about the facial animations have they updated the facial animations at all well they have and during my gameplay during my uh, time playing this game I only encountered one or maybe two facial animations that were like kind of screwed up not like math not like Assassin's Creed Unity sc screwed up. Like, that was a fucking mess. But this game, eh, a couple of them just came. But overall, the facial animations weren't, you know, too glitchy. Uh, another con in this one was that uh, characters at times would just float through the walls. I found that extremely odd. Like, I would be talking to a character, and eventually, like, they just, like, get up, float through the wall, and then eventually return, which I just found kind of odd to be in this game after all the patches, which they have patched a lot, so you may see that in your game. It doesn't hurt the game at all, but just it's kind of odd to see. Uh, another con is that my playthrough, my first playthrough, lasted anywhere between 50 to 60 hours. With that in mind, the game did crash two to three times, but, you know, it wasn't a big deal. Honestly, because of the very amazing and awesome autosave system, it didn't really affect me at all, except for maybe shaved off one or two of my playing time. One or two, you know, minutes of my playing time, I should say. So, it does crash rarely, but does happen occasionally. But like, you know, most modern games, they do encounter a couple bugs. So, again, with the autosave system, you won't lose very much at all. Uh, my next con is that while the story is good overall, it just starts off slow. It does start off a little slow, and you're kind of wondering at the beginning, is it going to pick up? Is it going to get a little more action-y, more RPG-like? And the answer to that, of course, is yes. It does It does pick up, and it feels so good to play once you get into it, but it does start off slow, for those of you who are interested in buying the game. Uh, while there, Another con is that while there are a lot of side missions, 
it feels like there's just too many side missions. You know, they should the Bioware should remove about 10 to 15 percent of the total side missions, so it feels more solid. When I was playing the game, man, it felt like okay, I have a side mission, and then another side mission, and then another side mission. When is the side mission going to stop before I can play the next main story mission? You know, so that's just like, oh man, I like I love the story, but side missions kind of detract from it, which and each one does have reveal some stuff about the game, but it does reward you, but, you know, enough is enough from the side missions. So, those are my pros, some cons, and now you're wondering, what price should I get this at, if you're still wondering if you when you should pick this up. So, for a price point, I would say to buy this game, you should pick a, this game up at between $25 and $30. At that price, I find it to be worthwhile to buy this game. Not for the multiplayer, but for the single player. It's definitely worth a playthrough, play and it is a very good game. It's totally worth exploring the story, and I hope I don't... Okay, I thought I was, wasn't going to make it on the bridge. But, yeah, pick it up, guys. It's totally worth playing. It may not be as good as the originals, because, honestly, let's be realistic, it's hard to play, to live up to the, uh, the gameplay of the original games, but it's good regardless. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, or this episode, this video. Uh, I hope... Uh, you leave a like hope you subscribe and guys one final question. I want to leave you with do you have this game? What do you think of it? At what price would you buy this game at so with that in mind? I will see you guys in the next one